Hey, what's up guys? Ara here and welcome back to a brand new video here today and we are back once again in today's video with the fully maxed out upgraded Williams car in F1 2019 career mode. So I see this as a bit of a continuation of the F1 2019 experiment we did with the maxed out car last time a few days ago we uploaded what was it like to just drive a maxed out Williams car around the Brazilian GP. We saw how fast it was to get from last place to the very front again and also the difference between the, the fully maxed out car and the base car in terms of a direct comparison. So if you did miss that video, be sure to go check that one out. And also previously, we actually tried and failed to max out the car with 1 million R&D points and I actually got fired, ironically, in the end because uh, I didn't do enough kind of, you know, I, didn't, I need to essentially do enough races and not simulate everything there. So two, two F1 2019 experiments so far with the maxed out car, if you will, or trying to do the maxed out car. And so this is the third and kind of, you know, end of the saga, I guess, which was a, a comment from you guys from last episode, but someone, uh, and it was a Top, top comment saying that I should try and go and do a lap around Austria and see how fast we can get it and if we could get a sub one minute lap time around the Austrian Grand Prix because like I said this is the max star car you can see on screen right now the R&D chart there all the engine upgrades all the chassis all the aero or even all the reliability uh, because of course now uh, we did have an R&D reset in the previous video we did from season two this is season three of this career mode save if you will this you know very you know completely random other save that's separate to my actual F1 2019 career mode series on the channel. Um, and in this save, I've now skipped ahead to Season 3 till the Austrian Grand Prix, of course, because there's no other way I can actually get this max car to other race circuits apart from skipping through the career mode. I can't exactly just uh, kind of you know, drag and drop it into a circuit. I've had to try and simulate through every every single race, pretty much, to get to the Austrian Grand Prix. But we're here now. We've got this max star car. It looks pretty ridiculous now, actually, in Season 3. If you just look at the R&D chart here before we get into the laps here, it just looks so comical how far ahead we are. And I also want to point out how crazy this save file is as well. We've got Racing Point second, Haas third, Mercedes then, Torosso, Red Bull, Renault, Ferrari a third bottom, uh, Alfa Romeo and then McLaren there. So very mixed up order. We also had some crazy driver transfers in this save. I believe, I think Leclerc is in Racing Point now. I think Verstappen and Vettel have swapped Ferrari and Red Bull. Uh, I think Merck have stayed put actually and Haas have stayed put, uh, which is kind of odd because I thought they may, may have had some swaps there. But obviously for us, we've had Russell, who was Kibitza, now it's Russell, our teammate, but we've maintained this plateau, of course, having you can see in the top right, uh, a ridiculous amount of R&D points, so it's all been good, but yeah, we're here at the Austrian Grand Prix, the video idea, based off one of the top comments from the previous video we did when we first drove the Max Star car, is we're now going to see if we can get anywhere near a sub one minute lap time at the Austrian Grand Prix. We've done it before, on F1 2018 with a ridiculous mod, which made the car super, super fast, but this is a natural, well not natural, but uh, this is the fully upgraded car in-game. I've not modded the car any further. This is the in-game mechanics upgrading the car. The only thing we've modded is the R&D points to actually purchase all these upgrades, if you know what I mean. So we're going to get into it then and start this off. I will say I had to kind of build up some speed, and so we're not going to get it straight away because actually, uh, a little insight, this is actually the first video I am recording since coming back from my one-week holiday in uh, Hungary, Budapest, for the F1 Grand Prix, and had a few days before the Grand Prix just to chill out in Budapest as well. So it's been a long while since I've actually driven the F1 games. I had to get used to everything once again. And also, it's never it's never kind of completely normal to drive a max style car. It always feels rather weird. And also, we had the caveat of we had things like this traffic coming in. Because, of course, because this is a career mode um, a session, essentially. Like I said, we can't just drag and drop the max style car to where we want. We have to play through the career mode to use the max style car. We've got, in this qualifying session, people like Hamilton blocking me off quite a fair bit. I had to lift off a decent amount. So we've already lost, at least I would say a second there I could probably gain on that lap because we went wide as well um, so that's going to be a thing as well of trying to get in that perfect lap which I don't think will happen but we're going to try and get as close as we can and also see what my teammate does as well because remember the teammate depending on how the simulation goes for the AI teammate he can do a pretty damn good job as well maybe try and out qualify me so we'll see how fast our AI teammate can get Russell and see how close he can get to the two minute uh, to the one minute mark here right now we're uh, 103 so we're uh, 1038 so we've got about 3.8 seconds to find which sounds like a lot but I like I said I think we can probably find a second already just by going a little bit later on the brakes and also not lifting off in that second sector but already getting some time in sector one uh, we already have a bit of traffic though in this second run uh, this session seems to be going from overcast to sunny so that also might be a bit of an asterisk of how this experiment run goes the trap might get far 
faster towards the end with the sun coming out, the Tartems coming out. Maybe the grip goes up as well. So that's also something to look into. We can see making a few mistakes here still in the second sector. Pretty much not because actually this is more or less so because I've not driven the game in a while. It's actually more so of I just didn't know where the limit of the car was because you've got to understand I've never driven a maxed out car on any of these circuits here. You know, my Alfa Romeo in the actual career mode is far from maxed out. And so this Williams car, I was trying to push the boundaries of what's possible. I was finding lap after lap. Oh, okay, I can slam on the throttle here. Full throttle works here and doesn't work here. I can go in seventh gear rather than sixth gear or something like that in the in the last two corners. You know, the last last two corners, I was going down to sixth gear, but I felt like I could maybe have uh, let the car roll through in seventh. I just wasn't too sure here. And so again, we get a bit of uh, traffic ahead of us that uh, maybe blips us out a little bit. We go to uh, one, two, four. So we're 2.4 seconds off the one minute mark here which is a lot now and we're not finding as much time as I wanted to in the corners anymore so this might be a little bit tricky as well and my AI teammate I'm yet to see what he's going to really do as well we go again we restart this session essentially we try again this time I ran with a bit more higher aero because I thought uh, maybe you know because the engine power is so strong now in this car maybe it can compromise quite a fair bit and run a bit more aero and try and get a bit more downforce in the corners here obviously didn't help me in the last corner there going quite wide and across the line and it's a bit of a slower lap time so having to find time once again but I think this kind of also shows the track was evolving in this session and so towards the end of the session was a little bit faster maybe with the sun kind of heating up the circuit and just getting back into the groove of things of, of course as, as the track rubbers in you get a little bit faster and faster we go through the last two turns that time stayed in seventh gear and then down to fifth on the exit a little bit wide again on the curbing but across the line and it's going to be a 2-5 there so that is a bit better of an improvement there so we're close to what we already had we go for another last third run here in this uh, session, if you will. We've done kind of two full short quality sessions in this career mode weekend, as it were, in Austria with this experiment save. And so we'll see if we can gain some more time. We have gained it into, into turn one, into that next hairpin, the end of sector one. Late on the brakes as I dare, trying to get the power down, quite tricky, but also easy as well, uh, easier than the Alfa Romeo is in my career mode gone. And so we're gaining just about two and a half tenths, up to three tenths, now four tenths through the last few corners, through the last corner. Great apex there, a little bit wide, bit of counter steer, get the power down early, across the line and it is too near well pretty much 102 dead near enough if you round it down or 2-1 if you round it up in full on terms not actually anywhere near the one minute mark two seconds is quite a fair bit to find my teammate I simulated it I fast forward the session because the glitch is still there where your AI teammate can go a lot faster and every AI in general not just your teammate every AI can go faster when you simulate and, uh, uh, simulate and fast forward the session so I thought let's see what my teammate can do because he might be able to bring out a ridiculous time maybe at the end of it um, uh, in the end, he gets a 101.570. So that's pretty damn decent. And obviously, he looked pretty good out there. You know, the car really planted. But in the end, even he could not get to the sub one minute. In the end, right at the death of the session, it was 101. Three, so 1.3 seconds off the one minute mark for the Austrian Grand Prix, which I think is pretty damn insane actually to say it's a, it's a it, like I said, it's a naturally in the game mechanic maxed out car. The only thing we modded was the R&D points. You know, we haven't modded the car like we did in F1 2018 with that random funny video I did where we had a ridiculous car that, you know, shot at the, uh, sh you know, accelerated the speed of light. This is an actual legit car you can one day actually drive if you max out a Williams car enough. And we're getting pretty close, but still quite far in F1 terms from a one minute lap time at Austria. But that's pretty impressive considering, you know, the lap times at the very start of the career mode. I believe, I can't even remember. Like, what was it? Like 106 or 107 maybe? Depending on what the car you're in. I'm sure the Williams car probably was 107 or something like that. Or 106 at Austria. So pretty damn impressive still, again, to see the speed of this car in the corners and, and, and also just brute engine power as well. You can kind of just feel it. It looks like sped up. And definitely in the corners, as I gained confidence, it was crazy to see when you could brake, when you could accelerate. Uh, and so finally to round out this video to kind of show off again how good this car is compared to the kind of base car we know I know we did a full lap uh, comparison at Brazil but this is just pure top end speed showing you how OP this engine is now compared to what we had on the base game so this is the base game time trial Williams we're going right now so down the straight uh, you know uh, into 8th gear as we cross the line basically we're going up to 2-1-1 2-1-12 2-1-3 and it's going to be 2-1-4 
just about by the time we hit those bollards there and the foam polystyrene thing. So 2.14 that was. And now we move on. And this is now, I've simulated again from that Austrian GP session you saw. Yes, I've gone through yeah, the next few and got to the Italian Grand Prix in Season 3 of this career mode save. And now we'll see how this maxed out car does. And you're going to see actually into Parabolka, the downforce as well allows me to get so much earlier on the power and go up the gears. As we go through Parabolka, you can see on the exit, I'm pretty much already going to be in 8th gear by the time we exit the curb, which is pretty insane. Up into overtake mode. Obviously, time trial, we couldn't do overtake mode. So this might be even better with overtake mode being a little bit faster at the very top end gear. And so here we go. We've already smashed it. 2-2-6 now. And it's that looks like we're maxed out there. 2-2-6. And we got that pretty quickly, actually. So there, there definitely was a bit of a rev, uh, rev limit, maybe, on that car. But 2-2-6. So a whopping 12 miles per hour faster in a straight line with all the engine upgrades. And you've got to take into account, that's the engine upgrades. But we've also got more downforce. Also some drag reduction updates. But potentially a little bit more drag in the car. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if the drag updates in the R&D chart would balance out all the downforce upgrades. So I think a little bit of drag as well. And the engine's performing that well to be 12 miles per hour faster in a straight line at Italy. Uh, the, both uh, times were also, uh, before anyone asked, both uh, were set with the same setup. Both with 1-1 one, one wings at the Italian Grand Prix. So that is the uh, actual raw speed difference in a straight line. So it's just fascinating really to see how the maxed out car kind of behaves because you really kind of get it actually in career mode. Like, I don't think I'll be getting a maxed out car maybe potentially in this in this career mode, my actual career mode, right until the very end of the series, you know, by the time we get to the end of the, the game cycle basically. So it's very rare you get to see maxed out kind of car gameplay kind of this early on in the cycle. So it's always very fascinating to see. Hopefully it's for you guys as it is much for me to drive it basically and make the video. If you did enjoy the video though, be sure to smash the like button guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments below of that. Uh, I know maybe, you know, a faster driver because I'm not the fastest out there faster driver maybe definitely could have gone quite close that one minute but i tried my best and we got that close uh my teammate we got 1.3 off so i still think a pretty interesting video nonetheless and pretty close to that one sub minute mark if you're on your own here to subscribe for weekly full-on content guys i've been over i'll see you guys next time in the next one hope you enjoy the rest of the day goodbye